Hi everyone, this is Game March 1996, and today I want to come to you with a tutorial that one of my subscribers wanted me to make, and um, one of my PSN friends, and it was how I get my quality on my YouTube videos, such as Black Ops and MW3, and all my other gameplays. And first thing you're gonna need is Pinnacle Studio 12 Ultimate, and you'll need um, Sony Vegas Pro, and you'll be able to find both of those on YouTube. You just kind of search around a little bit. Another thing you'll need is the Dazzle, which I'll display here. You'll also want S video cables to record your gameplay because that is the best quality you can get out of the Dazzle. And that is just unreal how amazing it is. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is go over here to where it is, it has this little line over here. You want to go into Pinnacle Studio 12 Ultimate and push capture. Go over here to custom settings or whatever this is. And right now you're not seeing nothing because I don't have my Dazzle plugged into my PS3. Uh, I do have it plugged into my computer though. And you want to push settings. You're going to want to copy what I have set here. And one of the things you'll want to copy is this right here. Um, make sure you have it set for S Video uh, if you're using S Video. And open Video Control Panel and copy this exactly if you can. And then go over here to settings and have presets AVI custom. Then put um, compression MJ pe um, MJPEG. Uh, width 720 by 480 height, uh, quality 95%, include audio 48 kilohertz, and that's pretty much it. Um, do go over here to video and audio preferences, enable full screen resolution, enable hardware acceleration, main VGA monitor, none, and then just uh, you don't even really have to mess with that right now, it's just in case you have anything else, it should automatically reset itself. Um, enable background rendering. Set codec automatically and show premium content, show premium features. Um, that's just basically the program. Then, um, you know, of course, make sure your Dazzle is selected under the capture source. And you should be good to go on those settings. Just make sure you have NTSC set in 16 by 9 under capture source. That way you'll get the highest quality. And again, make sure you copy this right here because this right here is very important. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and record a video and I'll be right back to show you how to make it in the make movie section and we'll be right back so here we go one in this part of the video I'm going to show you how you make your movie and basically all you switch from is your capture over to your make movie and these are some clips I've captured and I'm going to play one here and you may notice some lines going through the video if you look really closely you can see it, the little lines going through the video there and what I'm going to do to fix that is we're going to actually place it just drag it into this spot here. Let it do its little process. And it's taking it over from my G drive, which will take a second for it to get over there. And then once it's over there, we'll be able to um, make it so the lines will not be there and it'll look so much better. Um, I will show you my settings for this. And so let's go and get this over here. Okay, that's why. So it's detecting the scenes from the video. This may take a couple seconds, so I'll be right back when it's done. Alright, it's almost done. And another thing I just want to mention real quick is that um, with these settings that I'm going to be showing you, you'll end up getting a really good quality video or the quality I have on my YouTube channel. And you'll ha it won't be a big file. These these files for around a 10 minute video is around may, may be a gig of space. Um, not to the back. After you run it through Sony Vegas, it's around 250 to 500 megs for for about 5 or 10 minutes, so kind of around that area. Alright, so after your video file is in the Make Movie section, you're going to want to go to Settings and copy my spot here and Make File. Use MPEG-2, include video, and then all this right here should be set. Uh, and then make sure you set for DVD compatible, because this right here gives the little extra good quality look to it and when it's DVD compatible that's what makes the file smaller too because DVD can only hold a certain amount of space um, play sound, advantage, sorry you don't really have to do that um, include audio of course and then just push OK and then that's pretty much it for the make file and then all you gotta do is push create file and it's gonna ask you where you want to save it to I'm just gonna put down test video or just test and then just push done or save or whatever and it's going to scan through this video here and make the, the video so once it's done I'll be right back and you'll be able to see the next part of the video 
All right, everyone, we're back, and the file is done being made. I went ahead and went to the folder that I saved it to, and as you can see here, this is the video, and it is 4 minutes, 42 seconds long, and it is 211 megabytes, so that ain't bad at all. If we go ahead and double-click it, um, you'll notice one thing is that the lines aren't on it at all, pretty much, so that may look a lot better, but it still needs a little work done to it. So... What we're going to do is we're going to open up Sony Vegas and while keeping this folder open that we will have access to our video we got from Pinnacle Studio and I'll show you my settings that I get my quality with so let's go ahead and jump over there. Alright everyone we're back and we have Sony Vegas Pro 11 open and I just want to go ahead and say right now that this part of the video is probably one of the most drastic or the yeah the most drastic part of the video process making this video so play pay close attention if you need to pause the video you can and um so i'm gonna get started on this i'm gonna open up my folder where i have my video i'm gonna go ahead and go over here to project Ma media and drag the video in to the project media from there what we're going to do is we're just going to simply just drag it into the video area let it process the um video and audio making and all that stuff so, let go under that, and we'll be right, I'll just go and stay on here, let's see. Be sure to let it go and finish both of these before you do anything to the video, because it can give you issues if you don't let it finish. So, I always like to let it get done. There we go. Next thing you're going to do is go here to Event, Pen, and Crop, and you're going to uncheck this where it says Maintain Aspect Ratio. Set that to no. Um, keep stretch to fill, yes. Keep that set. And I do have a preset made for this. It's just uh, a little black ops saying to get, like, you'll notice you might have some white lines up there with the dazzle. And basically, all the black ops are, and, and it works for MD3 or any game, because it just takes away a little whiteness up top. I just basically drug it down past the white. So that's basically all that was. Um, to so go ahead and get the quality, which we're going to do is we're going to go over here to Video FX. And you're going to want to drop down here to, let's see, I think I use, let's see, I think um, here, where is, uh, I think it's saturation just what I use. I have to remember, yeah, this is it. And I, had, I do have a preset made. I would suggest making a preset by just pushing this little save button and naming it. Um, but you want to copy these right here, and this saturation adjust amount, I would say 0 0.474, um, center 0, st um, spread 1, low 0, high 0. And if I uncheck it, you can definitely tell the color difference in the video, but you know it's still a little blurry, so we're going to fix that up a little bit. Um, in order to fix this right here, all we're going to add is just some sharpness, or sharpen, drag that in there preset black ops and this does work for everything I don't know why I just named the black ops I just did and I use the amount 653 so I'm gonna kinda show you what these look like without either of these alright so this is what it looks like with nothing added if I add sharpen it makes it look a little bit better then add the saturation adjust and it just really um, makes it look nice and you may notice the little white um, 3D ish effect on the sides that will not be there after you process the video. It just seems to be there when you're editing it, but it will not be there after the video has been made. Um, I don't know why it shows it like that. It just does. And that's pretty much all I have for this. And like I say, as far as audio wise, um, you know, it's, that's just basically what it is. I mean, the Dazzle is great. It's like listening to it on the TV. So next thing I want to go and show you is how I process my videos. Um, these are my project, I'm sorry, these are my project video properties. <coughs> I would say copy this right here on every one. I would pause and do this for every one. And add the width, 1920, height, 1080, frame rate, 29.970, NTSC. Um, just kind of copy all of these. Full resolution, rendering quality, good, motion blur. Corrosion, interlace method, blend fields makes it look really nice. Um, then, of course, where you just want your 
um, rendered video to be saved to or pre-rendered and this is the audio and just copy this as well I don't know if I've really done much to it or not but you can just kinda copy all these settings and uh, here's the ruler uh, and then the summary and all that but really it's just ruler audio and video so if you want to pause that and get those you can I'm just gonna go through more time and let you see them so there's the video if you want to pause now and copy the videos um, the audio pause now and write down the audio and ruler and you pause now and get the ruler so basically that's it for those settings um, and pretty much how you how I get my quality the next thing I want to show you is go up here to file render as and this is very important in order to get a high definition 720p on YouTube and I name this YouTube HD widescreen and it is the best settings I've found I've had to do a lot of research on my different settings and I finally figured it out but let's see here. I think I should be able to open it up here let me see you just click on what you want media uh, Windows Media V11 YouTube HD uh, wide widescreen customize template yeah this is it All right, this is what you want to copy um, under audio copy these settings right here and you can kind of get a little view of everything right there um, go to video I'm gonna pause here and see what that is I got videos 100% sharpest that's the best quality um, this is what I was looking for and um, make sure you just set all of this here exactly how I have it bit rate there's how that is index summary you know project um, basically just remember to copy the audio you can pause here video you can pause here bit rate you can pause here and project this is very simple video rendering best and all that so basically that's how I get my video quality on my YouTube videos and you should be able to just make a little template and save the template with all of those settings and you'll be good to go with these effects as well and thanks for watching if this video helped please subscribe comment and rate and um, until next time I'll see you later this is game watching on 26 and bye